Hey guys, what is up? I am coming to you this weekend from San Francisco. I came here yesterday, had a wedding, uh, for some really good family friends. So now it's Saturday morning, and I am headed to a farmer's market. Um, I don't know, I was told it was really good. So it's up here, it's where we're headed. But I literally only have like 10 minutes to get into this farmer's market, find some nice fresh squeezed juice for breakfast and then it is off to Alcatraz. I am super, super excited to go check that out. So I got an Alcatraz tour that leaves in like, I think it's like an hour, so that's why I only have like 10 minutes because I gotta drive over there, park, and then go redeem my tickets. But this is where the family friends told me I needed to come and check this place out. We'll see how it compares to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market. But I'm really, really thirsty and excited to get some juice. I uh, didn't get too much sleep last night because of the wedding. It's a good time. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. So I will bring you guys back up for the Alcatraz tour, but I need to go and find this juice. Okay, this place is huge. I mean, I thought it was up front, but you come in the back and there's just tents sprawled all over the place. So I'm having a difficult time finding my juice in this 10, ten minutes I've allotted myself. So I am walking quickly, trying to figure out where I can get some fresh squeezed juice. Man, it's like, there's so many fresh vegetables and other things, and I'm just like, I just want some juice. Just squeeze me some juice. Should have like a big flushing sign on top that says, hey, fresh juice here. So, trying not to bump into people too, is that's why I'm not looking at the camera while I'm talking to you guys, but, mm, struggling. Oh, mm, maybe. Oh. Yeah, I need to like run around this place and try and find it. Oh. Ooh, here we go. I don't know, but there's, I, don't, I can't see where I'm pointing. That stuff there, that might be it. Um, let me check it out. So I failed on finding this freshly squeezed, like right at the, t right at the moment juice, but what I do have, and what I have found, is we got some, <laughs> Freshly pressed juice here. It's already been bottled up, so I'll just grab one of those and get out of here because I am running so late. All right, so it's only like 15 minutes, not too bad. But so, apple pomegranate cider, that's what I got. Pretty delicious. <laughs> just wanted to check in quick. Um, yeah, just want to show you guys awesome juice. <sighs> Alright, so I am at my first stop of the Alcatraz tour. So I am at Angel Island. You want to know how much I know about this island? Zero. Zilch. Nothing. Which is why I am here to learn. So I'll be here, going to be doing a tram to go around this place, learn about it, hear, learn, educate. And then in like two hours, going to be going actually over to Alcatraz itself. But first, stop here at Angel Island, know what it's all about, show you guys some cool stuff along the way. You get to relax and enjoy your tram tour around the island. Um, we will. All, we also have food for you. Uh, you have to buy, but there's food available for you. Uh, which have to try and get your um, So um, it's a great place to be. There's a lot of history out here. You guys. So we're at a stop um, on the tram, and our tour guide tells us that this is the second most panoramic view in the Bay Area. Let's check this out. That is so cool. I'm gonna take a panoramic. All right, tram tour over. Now I got myself some chicken tacos. Super excited for this. And some coffee because I am dragging today. But, so, let's recap that, that tram tour. What did I learn about Angel Island? So Angel Island is 740 acres. It's the largest island in the Bay Area. It's the better island than Alcatraz according to all the state uh, <laughs> state park ranges here. So it's a California state park as well. Um, it started off with uh, as a military base because they thought there was going to be a lot of fighting here on the west coast so they like stopped it up, got some super big guns, but not a single shot was fired in anger or war. Um, 
So that was essentially just a bunch of what our tour guide called um, boys with toys out here kind of hanging out. But then it turned into an immigration detention center. So we have Ellis Island on the East Coast. They needed something on the West Coast to uh, check out the immigrants. You know, just due process, all that kind of stuff that needs to happen when you come into a country. Um, and yeah, it's a California state park. It's huge. Um, only about 25 people live on the island. And it's just the state park rangers and their families. They live in some of the, the old barracks. Um, a lot of historic sites around here. Um, just very cool. So I'm going to show you guys what my, my view is while I eat my tacos. Now I'm going to enjoy some food. All right, I made it. I'm here at The Rock. We are in the cell block area now. So I got the audio tour going in the cell block. So I'm here to uh, to save Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Yeah, before this thing actually starts up. So it's not even going yet. This, this was it. This is where you'd be doing your push-ups, your pull-ups, you know, getting, uh, getting your health out. Dang. That's pretty insane. Got a couple rows. So, I'm gonna pop these on, start learning. All right, so we're at the whole isolation. I'm going in. I gotta duck down. So close that door, and you'd be in here all alone. No lights, nothing. Like I can reach both sides of the walls. But there's not much room in here. I cannot imagine being locked in here. So that cell block tour was super sweet. So now I'm walking outside the cells. The history of this place is just insane to be standing in the cells, in the cell block, in the dining room of all those criminals. It's just ew, a little freaky. <laughs> but I mean this the view of the city from here is amazing. Some of the skylines just being out here on an island is really sweet. So, oh, I am dying. That coffee did not work. I was trying to turn it on for you guys and oh, show you what's going on. But I am about to head out, probably go hit the gym because I am dying and I need, well, first I need a nap, but probably go some pre-workout, go hit the gym instead of a nap because I am supposed to be meeting up with some other people later for the Badger game. Um, I don't know if that's actually gonna happen because it, uh, it's already like 310, game starts at five, so I'm gonna go to the gym. And with that sound, you probably can't hear what I'm saying. All right, that Alcatraz tour was super dope, super awesome. I am dying, coffee did not work. I'm gonna take pre-workout and go to the gym once I get back uh, on the mainland. But for now, while I wait for the ferry, I've got some honey cinnamon almonds, beautiful, and then I bought some cookies. But hey, it says that they're all natural, um, all natural cookies. So, sure. <laughs> I am really not picky. I have not eaten much. All I had was uh, like chicken tacos uh, for lunch and coffee all day. So I need up the calories. And that's probably why I'm so tired. But it's fantastic being at Alcatraz. Like this is the view that I'm seeing right now. Just chilling, waiting. Very cool, very cool area. It's been a nice day to just be a tourist, kind of hang out, just enjoy the sights and not work, not think about other things, kind of just let my mind escape and just take in knowledge and learning and relax. It's been really nice. I've enjoyed it. So, and I'm going to enjoy my food and get some more energy. <laughs> so, I'll catch you guys later.